The United States is the third most populous country in the world with an estimated population of 328,953,020 as of November 8, 2018. It is highly urbanized, with 82.3% of the population residing in cities and suburbs. Large urban clusters are spread throughout the eastern half of the United States particularly the Great Lakes area, northeast, east, and southeast and the western tier states, mountainous areas, principally the Rocky Mountains and Appalachian chain, deserts in the southwest, the dense boreal forests in the extreme north, and the central prairie states are less densely populated. Alaska's population is concentrated along its southern coast, with particular emphasis on the city of Anchorage, and Hawaii's is centered on the island of Oahu. California and Texas are the most populous states, as the mean center of U.S. population has consistently shifted westward and southward. New York City is the most populous city in the United States. The United States Census Bureau shows a population increase of 0.75% for the 12 month period ending in July 2012. Though high by industrialized country standards, this is below the world average annual rate of 1.1%. The total fertility rate in the United States estimated for 2016 is 1.82 children per woman, which is below the replacement fertility rate of approximately 2.1. The American population almost quadrupled during the 20th century, at a growth rate of about 1.3% a year, from about 76 million in 1900 to 281 million in 2000. It is estimated to have reached the 200 million mark in 1967, and the 300 million mark on October 17, 2006. Population growth is fastest among minorities as a whole, and according to the Census Bureau's estimation for 2012, 50.4% of American children under the age of one belong to racial and ethnic minority groups. White people constitute the majority of the U.S. population, with a total of about 245,532,000 or 77.7% .7 of the population as of 2013. Non Hispanic whites make up 62.6% .6 of the country's population. The non-Hispanic white population of the U.S. is expected to fall below 50% by 2045. It has also been hypothesized in the Huffington Post that the Hispanic population of the United States citizenry will become the majority ethnic group by 2060. According to Pew Research Center study released in 2018, by 2040, Islam will surpass Judaism to become the second largest religion in the U.S. due to higher immigration and birth rates. Hispanic and Latino Americans accounted for 48% of the national population growth of 2.9 million between July 1, 2005, and July 1, 2006. Immigrants and their U.S.-born descendants are expected to provide most of the U.S. population gains in the decades ahead. The Census Bureau projects a U.S. population of 417 million in 2060, a 38% increase from 2007, 301.3 million, and the United Nations estimates the U.S. population will be 402 million in 2050, an increase of 32% from 2007. In an official census report, it was reported that 54.4% 2,150,926 out of 3,953,593 of births in 2010 were non-Hispanic white. This represents an increase of 0.3% compared to the previous year, which was 54.1%. Population As of November 8, 2018, the United States is estimated to have a population of 328,953,020. The following demographic statistics are from the CIA World Factbook estimated as of 2017, unless otherwise indicated. Topic. Structure The median age of the total population is 38.1 years, the male median age is 36.8 years, the female median age is 39.4 years. The population is distributed by age as follows 0 to 14 years, 18.73% male 31,255,995, female 29,919,938. 15 to 24 years 13.27% male 22,213,952 female 21,137,826 25 to 54 years 39 
45% male 64,528,673, female 64,334,499, 55 to 64 years, 12.91%. Male 20,357,880. Female 21,821,976. 65 years and over, 15.63%. Male 22,678,235. Female 28,376,817. Sex ratios. 0 to 14 years, 1.04 male, female 15 to 24 years, 1.05 male, female 25 to 54 years, 1 male, female 55 to 64 years, 0 0.93 male, female 65 years and over, 0 0.79 male, female Total population, 0 0.97 male, female Topic. Life expectancy at birth Total population, 80 years Male, 77.7 .7 years Female, 82.2 years Topic. Density The most densely populated state is New Jersey, 1,121 per square miles or 433 per square kilometers. See list of U.S. states by population density for maps and complete statistics. Topic: <laughs> Growth. Population growth rate: 0.81 percent. Topic: Immigration and emigration. Net migration rate, 3.9 migrants, 1,000 population 13% of the population was foreign-born in 2009 a rise of 350% since 1970 when foreign-born people accounted for 3.7% of the population, including 11.2 million illegal immigrants, 80% of whom come from Latin America. Latin America is the largest region of birth group, accounting for over half of all foreign-born population in U.S., and thus is also the largest source of both legal and illegal immigration to U.S. In 2011, there are 18.1 million naturalized citizens in the United States, accounting for 45% of the foreign-born population .4 million and 6% of the total U.S. population at the time, and around 680,000 legal immigrants are naturalized annually. 3.9 migrants, 1,000 population, estimated in 2017. Country comparison to the world, 29th, 4.32 people migrate per 1,000 population, estimated in 2010. Topic. Vital statistics Birth rate, 12.5 births, 1,000 population Death rate, 8.2 deaths, 1,000 population Mother's mean age at first birth, 26.4 years 2015 est. Maternal mortality ratio, 14 deaths, 100,000 live births 2015 est. Infant mortality rate, 5.8 deaths, 1,000 live births Total fertility rate, 1.87 children born, woman note, Hispanics are counted both by their ethnicity and by their race, giving a higher overall number. Also note that growth arrows indicate an increase or decrease in the number of births, not in the fertility rate. Note. TFR equals total fertility rate. Growth arrows indicate an increase or decrease in the number of births, not in the fertility rate. Topic. Historical data In 1900, when the U.S. population was 76 million, there were 66.8 million whites in the United States, representing 88% of the total population, 8.8 .8 million black Americans, with about 90% of them still living in southern states, and slightly more than 500,000 Hispanics. Under the law, the Immigration and Nationality Act of 1965, the number of first generation immigrants living in the United States has increased, from 9.6 million in 1970 to about 30. 8 million in 2007. Around a million people legally immigrated to the United States per year in the 1990s, up from 250,000 per year in the 1950s. 
In 2009, 37% of immigrants originated in Asia, 42% in North America, and 11% in Africa. In 1900, non Hispanic whites comprised almost 97% of the population of the ten largest American cities. The Census Bureau reported that minorities including Hispanic whites made up 50.4% of the children born in the U.S. between July 2010 and July 2011, compared to 37% in 1990. In 2010 the state with the lowest fertility rate was Rhode Island, with a rate of 1.63, while Utah had the greatest rate with a rate of 2.45. This correlates with the ages of the state's populations. Rhode Island has the ninth oldest median age in the U.S. 39.2, while Utah has the youngest 29.0. Topic: <inaudible> Median age of the population. Median age of the U.S. population through history. Source: U.S. Department of Commerce. Bureau of Census, United States Census Bureau, and the World Factbook. Topic. Vital statistics The U.S. total fertility rate as of 2010 census is 1.931 1.948 for white Americans including white Hispanics 1.791 for non-Hispanic whites 1.972 for black Americans including black Hispanics 1.958 for non-Hispanic blacks 1.404 for Native Americans including Hispanics 1.689 for Asian Americans including Hispanics other 2.350 for Hispanics of all racial groups 1.831 for non-Hispanics of all racial groups note that approximately 95% of Hispanics are included as white Hispanics by CDC which does not recognize the census some other race Category and counts people in that category as white. Source, National Vital Statistics Report based on 2010 U.S. Census data. Topic. Total fertility rates from 1800 to 2010. The total fertility rate is the number of children born per woman. Sources, Ansley J. Cole, Zelnick and National Center for Health Statistics. Topic. Life expectancy at birth from 1901 to 2015 Life expectancy in the United States from 1901 to 2015. Source, Our World in Data and the United Nations 1901 to 1950 1950 to 2015 Source, UN World Population Prospects Topic. Vital statistics from 1935 Topic. Current vital statistics Number of births From January to March 2017 equals 923,000 From January to March 2018 equals 913,000 Number of deaths From January to March 2017 equals 749,000 from January to March 2018 equals 770,000 natural increase From January to March 2017 equals 174,000 From January to March 2018 equals 143,000 Topic. Population centers The United States has dozens of major cities, including 31 global cities of all types with 10 in the alpha group of global cities new york city los angeles chicago washington dc boston san francisco miami philadelphia dallas and atlanta as of 2011 the united states had 51 metropolitan areas with a population of over 1 million people each see table of united states metropolitan statistical areas as of 2011, about 250 million Americans live in or around urban areas. That means more than three-quarters of the U.S. population shares just about 3% of the U.S. land area. The following table shows the populations of the top 20 metropolitan areas. Note Denver and Baltimore have over 2.5 million residents in their metro areas. 
Topic: <laughs> Race and ethnicity. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Race. The United States Census Bureau collects racial data in accordance with guidelines provided by the U.S. Office of Management and Budget and these data are based on self-identification. The racial classifications and definitions used by the U.S. Census Bureau are White – a person having origins in any of the original peoples of Europe, the Middle East, or North Africa. It includes people who indicate their race as white or report entries such as Irish, German, Italian, Lebanese, Arab, Moroccan, or Caucasian. Black or African American, a person having origins in any of the black racial groups of Africa. It includes people who indicate their race as black, African am, or Negro or report entries such as African American, Kenyan, Nigerian, or Haitian. American Indian or Alaska Native, a person having origins in any of the original peoples of North and South America including Central America and who maintains tribal affiliation or community attachment. This category includes people who indicate their race as American Indian or Alaska Native or report entries such as Navajo, Blackfeet, Inupiat, Yupik, Central American Indian groups, or South American Indian groups. Asian, a person having origins in any of the original peoples of the Far East, Southeast Asia, or the Indian subcontinent including, for example, Cambodia, China, India, Japan, Korea, Malaysia, Pakistan, the Philippine Islands, Thailand, and Vietnam. Native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islander, a person having origins in any of the original peoples of Hawaii, Guam, Samoa, or other Pacific Islands. Some other race, includes all other responses not included in the white, black or African American, American Indian or Alaska Native, Asian, and Native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islander racial categories described above. Two or more races, people may choose to provide two or more races either by checking two or more race response check boxes, providing multiple responses, or some combination of check boxes and other responses. Data about race and ethnicity are self reported to the Census Bureau. Since the 2000 Census, Congress has authorized people to identify themselves according to more than one racial classification by selecting more than one category. Only one ethnicity may be selected, however, because the U.S. Census recognizes only two ethnicities—Hispanic and non-Hispanic—which are mutually exclusive since you can be one or the other, but not both. The Census Bureau defines Hispanic as any person who has an ancestral connection to Latin America. According to the 2010-2015 American Community Survey, the racial composition of the United States in 2015 was Population distribution by race 1940-2010 in percent Hispanic are shown like part of the races. Source, U.S. Census Bureau, Decennial Census of Population, 1940-2010. Asterisk data are shown for the white, black or African American, American Indian and Alaska Native, Asian and Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander, and some other race alone populations. Racial breakdown of population by state, 2015. Topic. Hispanic or Latino origin The U.S. Office of Management and Budget defines Hispanic or Latino as a person of Cuban, Mexican, Puerto Rican, Dominican, South or Central American, or other Spanish culture or origin regardless of race. People who identify with the terms Hispanic or Latino are those who classify themselves in one of the specific Hispanic or Latino categories listed on the Decennial Census Questionnaire and various Census Bureau Survey Questionnaires Mexican, Mexican Am, Chicano or Puerto Rican or Cuban as well as those who indicate that they are another Hispanic, Latino, or Spanish origin. People who identify their origin as Hispanic or Latino may be of any race. Population distribution by Hispanic origin 1970-2010 in percent Source, U.S. Census Bureau, Decennial Census of Population, 1970 5% Sample, 1980-2010 Other groups 
There were 22.1 million veterans in 2009, meaning that less than 10% of Americans served in the armed forces. In 2010, The Washington Post estimated that there were 11 million undocumented immigrants in the country. There were about 2 million people in prison in 2010. The 2000 U.S. Census counted same sex couples in an oblique way, asking the sex and the relationship to the main householder, whose sex was also asked. One organization specializing in analyzing gay demographic data reported, based on this count in the 2000 census and in the 2000 supplementary survey, that same-sex couples comprised between 0.99% and 1.13% of U.S. couples in 2000. A 2006 report issued by the Williams Institute on Sexual Orientation concluded that the number of same-sex couples in the U.S. grew from 2000 to 2005, from nearly 600,000 couples in 2000 to almost 777,000 in 2005. A 2006 UCLA study reported that 4.1% of Americans aged 18 to 45 identify as gay, lesbian, or bisexual. A 2011 report by the Institute estimated that 4 million adults identify as gay or lesbian, representing 1.7% of the population over 18. A spokesperson said that, until recently, few studies have tried to eliminate people who had occasionally undertaken homosexual behavior or entertained homosexual thoughts, from people who identified as lesbian or gay. Older estimates have varied depending on methodology and timing. See Demographics of Sexual Orientation for a list of studies. The American Community Survey from the 2000 U.S. Census estimated 776,943 same sex couple households in the country as a whole, representing about 0.5% of the population. Topic. Projections A report by the U.S. Census Bureau projects a decrease in the ratio of whites between 2010 and 2050, from 79.5% to 74.0%. At the same time, non-Hispanic whites are projected to no longer make up a majority of the population by 2042, but will remain the largest single ethnic group. In 2050 they will compose 46.3% of the population. Non-Hispanic whites made up 85% of the population in 1960. The report foresees the Hispanic or Latino population rising from 16% today to 30% by 2050, the black percentage barely rising from 12.9% to 13.1%, and Asian Americans upping their 4.6% share to 7.8%. The United States had a population of 310 million people in October 2010, and is projected to reach 400 million by 2039 and 439 million in 2050. It is further projected that 82% of the increase in population from 2005 to 2050 will be due to immigrants and their children. Of the nation's children in 2050, 62% are expected to be of a minority ethnicity, up from 44% today. Approximately 39% are projected to be Hispanic or Latino, up from 22% in 2008, and 38% are projected to be single race, non-Hispanic whites, down from 56% in 2008. Racial and ethnic minorities surpassed non-Hispanic whites as the largest group of American children under 5 years old in 2015. Pew Research Center projections. The United Nations projects a population of just over 400 million in 2060. The country's racial profile will be vastly different, and although whites will remain the single largest racial group in the U.S., they will no longer be a majority by 2055 according to Pew Research Center. Growth in the Hispanic and Asian populations is predicted to almost triple over the next 40 years. By 2055, the breakdown is estimated to be 48% white, 24% Hispanic, 14% Asian, and 13% black. As of 2015, 14% of the United States population is foreign born, compared to just 5% in 1965. Nearly 39 million immigrants have come to the U.S. since 1965, with most coming from Asia and Latin America. The 2015 census report predicts that the percentage of the U.S. population that is foreign-born will continue to increase, reaching 19% by 2060. This increase in the foreign-born population will account for a large share of the overall population growth. The average U.S. citizen of 2060 is likely to be older than the average citizen of today, and almost one in four people will be 65 or older. Topic: U.S. Census Census Bureau projections. 
Percent minority 1970 to 2042 2008 projections Note minority refers to people who reported their ethnicity and race as something other than non-Hispanic white alone in the decennial census Source US Census Bureau Decennial Census of Population 1970 5% sample 1980 to 2010 2008 population projections 2020 to 2042 Decennial Census and Population Projections in 2008, the U.S. Census Bureau projected the future censuses as follows. Religion Religious affiliations in 2004 The table below is based mainly on selected data as reported to the United States Census Bureau. It only includes the voluntary self-reported membership of religious bodies with 750,000 or more. The definition of a member is determined by each religious body. In 2004, the U.S. Census Bureau reported that about 13% of the population did not identify themselves as a member of any religion. In a Pew Research survey performed in 2012, Americans without a religion atheists, agnostics, nothing in particular, etc. approached the numbers of evangelical Protestant Americans with almost 20% of Americans being nonreligious compared to just over 26% being evangelical Protestant. If this current growth rate continues, by 2050, around 51% of Americans will not have a religion. A survey conducted in 2014 by the same organization indicated that the percentage of Americans unaffiliated with a religion rose to nearly 23% of the population, up from 16% in 2007. Topic: <laughs> Religions of American adults. The United States government does not collect religious data in its census. The survey below, the American Religious Identification Survey 2008, was a random digit dialed telephone survey of 54,461 American residential households in the contiguous United States. The 1990 sample size was 113,723, 2001 sample size was 50,281. Adult respondents were asked the open-ended question, What is your religion, if any? Interviewers did not prompt or offer a suggested list of potential answers. The religion of the spouse or partner was also asked. If the initial answer was, Protestant, or Christian, further questions were asked to probe which particular denomination. About one-third of the sample was asked more detailed demographic questions. Religious self-identification of the U.S. Adult population, 1990, 2001, 2008 figures are not adjusted for refusals to reply. Investigators suspect refusals are possibly more representative of no religion than any other group. Topic. Income In 2006, the median household income in the United States was around $46,326. Household and personal income depends on variables such as race, number of income earners, educational attainment and marital status. Economic class Social classes in the United States lack distinct boundaries and may overlap. Even their existence when distinguished from economic strata is controversial. The following table provides a summary of some prominent academic theories on the stratification of American society. Topic: <laughs> Generational cohorts. A study by William Strauss and Neil Howe, in their books Generations and Fourth Turning, looked at generational similarities and differences going back to the 15th century and concluded that over 80-year spans, generations proceed through four stages of about 20 years each. A definitive recent study of U.S. generational cohorts was done by Schumann and Scott 2012, in which a broad sample of adults of all ages was asked, What world events are especially important to you? They found that 33 events were mentioned with great frequency. When the ages of the respondents were correlated with the expressed importance rankings, seven some put eight or nine distinct cohorts became evident. Today the following descriptors are frequently used for these cohorts. 
Lost Generation, born from approximately 1883 to 1900. GI Generation, born from approximately 1901 to 1924 in the U.S. The Depression cohort who fought and won World War II. Silent Generation, born from approximately 1925 to 1942 during the Great Depression and World War II. The label was originally applied to people in North America but has also been applied to those in Western Europe, Australasia and South America. It includes most of those who fought during the Korean War. Baby boomers, there are no precise dates for when this cohort starts or ends. Demographers and researchers typically use starting birth years ranging from the early to mid 1940s and ending birth years ranging from 1960 to 1964. Generation X, demographers and researchers typically use birth years ranging from the early to mid 1960s to the early 1980s. In the U.S., some called Generation Zers the baby bust. Generation because of the drop in the birth rate following the baby boom. The drop in fertility rates in America began in the late 1950s. But according to authors and demographers William Strauss and Neil Howe who use 1961 to 1981 for Gen X birth years, there are approximately 88.5 million Gen Zers in the U.S. today. Millennials also known as Generation Y demographers and researchers typically use the early 1980s as starting birth years and the mid-1990s to early 2000s as ending birth years. Generation Z also known as homelanders or digital natives demographers and researchers typically use starting birth years that range from the mid-1990s to mid-2000s, and as of yet there is little consensus about ending birth years. U.S. demographic birth cohorts Subdivided groups are present when peak boom years or inverted peak bust years are present, and may be represented by a normal or inverted bell-shaped curve rather than a straight curve. The boom subdivided cohorts may be considered as pre-peak, including peak year, and post-peak. The year 1957 was the baby boom peak with 4.3 million births and 122.7 fertility rate. Although post-peak births such as trailing edge boomers are in decline, and sometimes referred to as a bust, there are still a relatively large number of births. The dearth in birth-bust cohorts include those up to the valley birth year, and those including and beyond, leading up to the subsequent normal birth rate. The baby boom began around 1943 to 1946, from the decline in U.S. birth rates starting in 1958 and the introduction of the birth control pill in 1960, the baby boomer normal distribution curve is negatively skewed. The trend in birth rates from 1958 to 1961 show a tendency to end late in the decade at approximately 1969, thus returning to pre-World War II levels, with 12 years of rising and 12 years of declining birth rates. Pre-war birth rates were defined as anywhere between 1939 and 1941 by demographers such as the Tayubers, Philip M. Hausa and William Fielding Ogburn. Topic. Demographic statistics Topic. Birth, growth and death rates The growth rate is 0.81% as estimated from 2017. The birth rate is 12.5 births, 1,000 population, estimated as of 2017 and 2013. Country comparison to the world, 158th. This was the lowest since records began. There were 3,957,577 births in 2013. 13.9 births, 1,000 population per year provisional data for 2008. 14.3 births, 1,000 population per year provisional data for 2007 in 2009, Time magazine reported that 40% of births were to unmarried women. The following is a breakdown by race for unwed births, 17% Asian, 29% White, 53% Hispanics, 66% Native Americans, and 72% Black American. The drop in the birth rate from 2007 to 2009 is believed to be associated with the Great Recession. A study by the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality AHRQ found that more than half of live hospital births in 2008 and 2011 were male, per U.S. federal government data released in March 2011, births fell 4% from 2007 to 2009, the largest drop in the U.S. for any two-year period since the 1970s. 
Births have declined for three consecutive years, and are now 7% below the peak in 2007. This drop has continued through 2010, according to data released by the U.S. National Center for Health Statistics in June 2011. Numerous experts have suggested that this decline is largely a reflection of unfavorable economic conditions. This connection between birth rates and economic downturns partly stems from the fact that American birth rates have now fallen to levels that are comparable to the Great Depression of the 1930s. Teen birth rates in the U.S. are at the lowest level in U.S. history. In fact, teen birth rates in the U.S. have consistently decreased since 1991 through 2011, except for a brief increase between 2005 and 2007. The other aberration from this otherwise steady decline in teen birth rates is the 6% decrease in birth rates for 15- to 19-year-olds between 2008 and 2009. Despite these years of decrease, U.S. teen birth rates are still higher than in other developed nations. Racial differences prevail with teen birth and pregnancy rates as well. The American Indian, Alaska Native, Hispanic, and non-Hispanic black teen pregnancy rates are more than double the non-Hispanic white teen birth rate. Topic. Unemployment rate As of July 2017, the U.S. unemployment rate was 4.3% U3 rate. As of July 2016, the U.S. unemployment rate was 4.9% U3 rate. As of July 2015, the U.S. unemployment rate was 5.3% U3 rate. As of July 2014, the U.S. unemployment rate was 6.2% U3 rate. The U6 unemployment rate as of April 2017 was 8.6%. The U6 unemployment rate counts not only people without work seeking full-time employment the more familiar U3 rate, but also counts marginally attached workers and those working part-time for economic reasons. Note that some of these part-time workers counted as employed by U3 could be working as little as an hour a week. And the marginally attached workers include those who have gotten discouraged and stopped looking, but still want to work. The age considered for this calculation is 16 years and over. Topic. Mobility In 2013, about 15% of Americans moved. Most of these, 67%, moved within the same county. Of the 33% who moved beyond local county boundaries, 13% of those moved more than 200 miles 320 kilometers. Topic. See also Outline of the United States Index of United States Articles Book, United States Maps of American Ancestries Languages of the United States Immigration to the United States Emigration from the United States Places in the United States with notable demographic characteristics Demographic history of the United States Historical racial and ethnic demographics of the United States Race and ethnicity in the United States Urbanization in the United States Historical statistics of the United States Hispanic and Latino Americans lists Lists of U.S. cities with non-white majority populations List of metropolitan areas in the Americas List of U.S. states and territories by population income Household income in the United States Personal income in the United States Affluence in the United States List of highest income counties in the United States List of lowest income counties in the United States Population United States Demographics of the United States United States Census Bureau List of U.S. states and territories by population List of metropolitan areas of the United States List of United States cities by population List of United States counties and county equivalents United States Office of Management and Budget The OM has defined 1098 statistical areas comprising 388 MSAs, 541 MUSAS, and 169 CSAs Primary statistical area, list of the 574 PSAs Combined statistical area, list of the 169 CSAs Core-based statistical area, list of the 929 CBSAs 
Metropolitan Statistical Area – List of the 388 MSAs Micropolitan Statistical Area – List of the 541 MUSAS United States Urban Area – List of United States Urban Areas Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. External links United States Census Bureau New York Times. Mapping the 2010 U.S. Census. 2000 Census of Population and Housing United States, U.S. Census Bureau Asian Nation, Demographics of Asian American, 2006-07-04-US-Population-X.htm question mark CSP equals 34 countdown to 300 million Census Ancestry Map USA Today 2004 Election County by County Map BeliefNet State by State Religious Affiliation at the Wayback Machine archived April 21, 2008 archived from the original on 21 April 2008 Health by State Google – Public Data Population in the USA. Quote